We're going to go ahead and look at transmission and multiplication of force. Okay, we've already reviewed and we know that pressure equals force over area. All right? Now let's say we're working with two systems. One's transferring some sort of force or pressure onto the other. Okay? So we know that our pressure out has to equal our pressure in. Okay, so another way of looking at that is we have our force out. I'm just rewriting pressure now as force over area. Our force out over our area out is equal to the force in. So that's our input force and our output force, what we're talking about, over here to our area out. So if we know our input force, I'm sorry, this is not out. This is in. If we know our input force, and we know the two sizes of our piston, the input and the output of our piston, we can calculate the output force. Okay, this is just our simple algebra right here. All right, this our output force is di being divided by our output area. So we're going to multiply both sides here by our output area. Okay? Area out. Okay, so we can cancel this. So our output force, our force out, is equal to our force in divided by our area of our input times the area of our output and this is our pistons, okay, and this is our force. Alright, so one other thing that we need to take a look at here is energy, okay? Now, one thing we're going to have to remember is we can't get any more energy out than we put in, alright? So to take a look at energy, we're going to use work, okay? Work, we know, is force times distance. Alright? So once again, like I said, we can't get any more energy out of the system. So we know that work out equals our work in. Alright, so let's rewrite work here. Work is force times distance. So this tells me that my force out times my distance out equals my force in times my distance in. Okay. Now let's go ahead and replace force. Force we know is what? Force, remember, is pressure times area. We're just solving this original equation up here for force. We've done that before. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to replace force here. So I'm going to have a pressure that's out times the area that's out times the distance out equals pressure in times area in times distance in. Now I've got to pay close attention here. Remember, okay, our pressure in equals our pressure out. So we can go ahead and actually cancel these. They'll cancel each other out, right? If this was 2 and this was 2, I divide both sides by 2, they become 1. So I can go ahead and cancel the pressures. So when I look at this, okay, my area out times my distance out is equal to my area in times my distance in. Hopefully that makes sense. So what we can do here, all right, is find whatever input distance we need to move something or output a certain amount. Say we want to 
how much do we need to you know move our cylinder to get that output alright so simple manipulation here if we want to know our input distance we're going to divide both sides by our input area alright so we know that area out times the distance out divided by area in is going to give us our distance in our input distance that we need to calculate and find alright so we have this equation for force this equation for distance alright we have one other equation that we need to kind of add into the realm here okay since we are moving rods or pistons here okay they are moving at the same speed or during the same amount of time okay so since they're moving at the same amount of time I can replace distance here with velocity so I can say that velocity in equals area out okay divided by area in times the velocity out so there's how we do the fundamental basic calculations behind transmission and multiplication of force so we'll be doing some example problems that cover you know just plugging and chugging into these equations now but once you know one equation Okay, you're able to manipulate them and calculate the others.